Friday's been going well. We've been very lucky. Every night has been really cool. The weather was nice. Uh, there's a lot of tourists. Being the only LGBT festival in the summer, um, we, we attract a lot more tourists every year. Um, it's the biggest edition, the ninth edition, but the biggest we've had so far. Yeah, basically it's, it's called the, the, the sex garage that happened in 1990. That was basically the stone wall of Montreal. Um, yeah, there was a raid in, the, in, in, a, in a party and a lot of people were arrested for no reasons. And so this year we marked the 25th year, and we have so the, the one of the photographs that was uh, there for the uh, and that took a lot of picture. She's here with us. She's one of our uh, special guests. We did a, an exhibition at the Place Emilie Gamelin where we host most of the activity of Pride. So we're really lucky to uh, to have her. Go sex garage. <laughs> I think the dream that we can have is the day where we, we won't need a pride anymore. We won't need to, to celebrate what we've achieved because we've, we will, we have achieved everything. You know, until then, those pride movement and celebration, they really need to, to keep happening and get bigger and, and be louder and be more inclusive of everybody. Mr. Trudeau, how do you feel about Stephen Harper not showing up today? You know what, he doesn't show up at any prize. It's really disappointing and I look forward to making sure that the Prime Minister's there next year. Happy Pride!